So today I wanted to do a video, but I didn't uh, I didn't want to do a beauty one. And so I wanted to do a tag, and I couldn't think of a good one, and then all of a sudden it popped up in my suggested videos thing at the side. The 90s kid tag! And I'm guessing, well hopefully, a lot of you were at least born in the 90s, because if you were born in the 2000s, I don't know how to relate to you. <laughs> like most of you won't know what pogs are and I don't know how to deal with that. So let's just get started. Question one, favorite Disney film. I think my favorite Disney film is Hercules, um, unless I'm forgetting something. I'm, I wasn't a big princess person. Like obviously I've seen Cinderella, Little Mermaid, all that kind of stuff, but I was never like really into any of those. I, I just really loved Hercules. I liked Mulan, but not as much. Hercules was my jam, so that's what I stuck to. Question two, NSYNC or Backstreet Boys? Okay, I'm gonna say Backstreet Boys, but NSYNC had some really good songs though. Like, I know everyone remembers Bye 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 and all that, but do you guys remember Pop? Like, that was my favorite. Do you guys know? Dirty Pop, new, 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 sick and tired of hearing all these people talk about. No? Question three, favorite music artist from the 90s? Okay, if uh, Blink-182 counts as a 90s band, I guess, then I'm gonna pick Blink-182. Other than that, like, there are so many. There, there's not a favorite song on here. So, I mean, I have to count Bowling for Soup because they're amazing. And I mean, other than NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, Spice Girls, there was still like Cisco and Baja Men. And honestly, I really liked George Michael and Michael Jackson because that's when I learned about them and I, played them in the basement all the time. You can't forget all of Prozac's songs. And then there's Aaron Carter, Snow, but also you can't forget all the one hit wonders like Closing Time, Stacy's Mom, hey, what up? Blue Dabba D, Mambo Number no. Five, Who Let the Dogs Out, Steal My Sunshine, You Get What You Give, Tub Thumping, anything by S Club 7. There's just so many and you could just go on and on. So in conclusion, I don't have a favorite 90s artist because there's so many good ones that I still have on my iPod. Question four, favorite candy slash sweet? When I was a kid? Oh my gosh, Jawbreakers! Why am I even thinking about this? Jawbreakers were my thing. Like I would get my allowance, I would get $2 in elementary school as an allowance every Saturday and I would walk down to Bulk Barn. Is there a Bulk Barn in the States? Cause there is in Canada, anyway. And I used to buy one of the ginormous Jawbreakers every Saturday for $1.39. I would eat it and it had like, it had a whole bunch of layers. You guys know Jawbreakers, it has a whole bunch of layers and then it has a sour center with gum in the middle. And I would eat that whole thing over the course of the week. And then I would go get my allowance on the next Saturday, go down, get a Jawbreaker and do it all over again for like my whole childhood. That and then um, Krispy Crunch, you know, the little mini Krispy Crunch squares that you can buy in bulk. As a child, ate them all the time. Oh, you guys don't have Krispy Crunch in the States. Y'all are missing out. Question five, weirdest fashion trend. Um, anything inflatable and plastic that you could wear. Uh, platforms, but I feel like everyone's gonna say platforms. Overalls were also very popular. I had a couple pairs of those. I swear, there's a lot of 90s fashion that's coming back right now, so I can't really make fun of it or else I won't be in fashion. Question six, favorite game console and game. All right, let's just, uh, just, give me, just give me one second, one second. Can we just sit here and embrace the fact that I had to unplug this from my TV because I actively play it? This is the only console I own. The N64, ladies and gentlemen. Still working like a gem. And what I was playing last was Mario Kart 64 because that was the best game, hands down. And I'm sorry, I don't have Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time or else I would say that that is the best. This, since I've mastered it, and it's right up there with the classics. I would have to say this is the best of 90s in my opinion because I played it all the damn time. And seriously, I bought this in high school. I didn't even get this when I was a kid. Question seven, what would you watch after school? Okay, this is a long ass list. Let's just go through this super quickly. When I got home from school, I would watch Full House on TBS at five and 5.30. Before school, I'd watch Saved by the Bell on TBS at seven and 7.30. At eight o'clock, I would watch Rugrats. But let's not forget all of the other shows that I legit watched all the time. We cannot forget Art Attack, Goosebumps, The Amanda Show, Are You Afraid of the Dark, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Doug, Big Bad Beetleborg. Does anyone remember that show? Cause I sure do. Madeline, Hey Arnold, Pepper Ann, and remember that show? That was my jam. Who's that girl? What's her name? Is she cool? Is she lame? Oh, you're talking about what's her name? Pepper Ann. Like my singing? <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't remember Recess and The Weekenders. Please, okay, that's what I watched when I came home from school. Oh, and Sailor Moon! What am I doing? I've talked to you guys about how I used to be obsessed with it. See, there are so many shows. Fraggle Rock, I could actually go on forever. Next question. Question eight, favorite book. Now, I read um, a lot of books as a kid, especially Fear Street, the Fear Street series by R.L. Stein. but my favorite book as a kid was definitely The Giver. And people are only jumping on The Giver bandwagon now because it's being made into this creepy ass awesome movie, but we were forced to read it as kids in I think fifth grade, and it was so good. It was an actual post-apocalyptic story before post-apocalyptic stories were cool. It's still one of my favorite books. I stole two copies from my elementary school, sorry guys, so that I could have it. I don't know why I took two. I also really liked anything by Lois Duncan. Down a Dark Hall was really creepy. I really liked creepy books when I was little. Number nine, favorite clothing store. Um, okay, I shopped at Walmart a lot when I was a kid. Let's be real. Is it just me or did Walmart used to have cooler clothes than it does now? I feel like it did. Anyway, my grandma used to take me and Delaney back to school shopping um, when we were little and we could each pick out one outfit for her to buy for us, like for back to school. It was like her gift and she really liked taking us out for that. So that was awesome and she would just take us to Walmart and it was sick. But I also had stuff from The Gap and Campus Crew. It wasn't that cool. I never shopped at Hollister or American Eagle or anything like that. I didn't. I wasn't one of those kids. Okay, number 10, last question, a 90s beauty memory. Because of course they had to throw in something beauty related in there. Um, I remember, oh, Seventh Heaven is another show that I watched because on Seventh Heaven I would watch Beverly Mitchell's makeup and Jessica Biel's makeup and be like, oh, I should, you know, do my makeup like theirs and stuff like that. But I didn't know how to do makeup as a child. And so I remember I asked my grandma if she could buy like a thing of makeup. It was probably like a, a little eyeshadow thing. So I could look like them. And she was like, yeah, sure, you know, I can buy that. And then my mom said no, so I wasn't allowed. And then, cause I wasn't allowed to wear makeup to school except for in grade seven and eight in elementary school. So I remember in fifth grade, because white eyeliner was apparently a thing, I had white eyeliner on, no mascara, just white eyeliner, and I thought it was cool. And my mom came into my room, because I was trying to sneak out of the house with this eyeliner on. My mom comes into my room, and I was like, don't look at my eyes! And she's like, uh, what? And so I pull it, like, you know, my hands away, and then she's like, um, you need to take that off. She probably just knew that it looked bad. All right, so that is the end of the 90s kid tag. I hope you guys really liked it, because I like doing tags like this. If you guys know of any other cool tags that are going around right now, or even, like, old tags that I haven't done, let me know, because they're, I think, probably one of my favorite videos to do. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, and or Instagram, my name is at Brunette Giant. All links will be in the Wonder Bar. As always, I love you guys a lot. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. All right, bye. Whoa, I'm living for the weekend. I'm living for the weekend. Hey. <laughs> Come on. Everybody's running and the world is getting so crazy. People work so hard, there's no time to be lazy. The weekend comes, I'm down with that. Grab your ball, grab your bat, head to the beach, grab some rings. Better hurry up, just got some things. Playing games, hanging out, roller coaster, there's no doubt.